Okay, hey guys, Juan here, we're making another video, another unboxing video. This time we're going to be unboxing this Craftsman lawnmower, and I've got my sidekick, my son, right here to help me out with this. So that's what this video is today. Push it out. Huh? I would help you, but I'm holding the camera. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Let's get it up on that table right there. Okay, so we recently bought a house and we needed a push mower. Um, I've got a bigger lawn in the back, so we use a riding lawnmower for that. And then uh, I built a fence and it's just gonna be convenient to have a nice push mower for our small lawn out front. And me being a techie, I wanted a battery powered lawn mower. Uh, so no more gasoline and having to worry about that. When it comes to this push mower, this is all battery powered. And we went with a Craftsman 60 volt right here. I seen that they come in different kinds of voltage. They make a 40 volt. This is the 60 volt, so this is one's a little bit higher. And the cool thing about this one is it's self-propelled, so it'll spin by itself um, with the help of um, a lever that you have on the mower handle. So self-propelled 60 volt craftsman lawnmower. <laughs> Okay, so he loves knives. I'm gonna let him have the honor of opening this bad boy. So let's unbox it. It looks like these are all the parts that are packaged in here. So we will go ahead and take this thing apart and put it together. All right, so whenever you don't have any of your fancy camera equipment, you make makeshift tripods just like this with the cardboard that we just got out of the box nice tripod <laughs> all right that'll work let's open this thing okay so we got it out of the box there's a b so we got out of the box here and there's no instruction booklet on how to assemble it. At least we can't find one. So we're, um, he's just playing with cutting foam. But um, we're gonna try to figure out how to hook this thing up without instruction booklet. It doesn't look like it's too complicated. It looks like it's, this is the, um, the handlebars and they may attach here. But I would think they have some bolts. So we're gonna have to look and see. I'm gonna have to look and see if he lost the bolts or lost the instruction booklet also. We'll see. All right, so our yellow lad is here to offer some moral support for us. Okay, we found the booklet. It was in this hidden compartment right here inside the mower. So, bam, right there is the instruction manual and our hardware. So here's the what was inside the package two of these little wing nuts two bolts but and then this probably a safety feature turn it off um here's the thing about this book it's kind of confusing look at that look at all the words it wants you to read in the booklet and yeah, well you know what that i'm not going to read all that so i'm just going to try to figure this out on my own and i think when you pull out on these then you can lift up on the handle. So try it, give it, pull it out on it and pull it up. There, see that? Much easier. Sometimes you can just figure it out by playing around with it. I've never been a real mechanically inclined kind of person, but I've been able to figure things out uh, without reading instructions. I think that's kind of like the man way anyways. Who needs instructions? You just figure it out on your own. 
and that's what we're gonna do. On the metal cage that it sits in, and if you're gonna use the bag, you gotta lift this thing up like this, and then put the bag on its clips right here and here. That way you could shoot the grass into the bag there, but I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm actually gonna keep this thing down and use this mower as a mulcher. Uh, that way it just cuts up the grass, mulches it up and it leaves it on there. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I don't do compost or anything like that. So once I collect this grass, that means I would have to put it in a bag and then take it somewhere or put it in a trash. I don't even know if our trash guy accepts grass uh, or weeds or any kind of that natural substance so i'm just gonna make it easy on me and mulch it up let it sit on the ground okay so the other way that you can use this is if you want to shoot the grass out the side here they give you this little um, plastic piece here you lift up on this okay so what you do is you take this plastic piece here you lift up on this snaps right in there easy peasy just like that it would then shoot the grass out the side this way if that if you didn't want to mulch it and you wanted to um, spit the grass out the side so I myself just gonna leave it like that and mulch it okay so we just figured out how to put this big old massive 60 volt battery inside this lawnmower here you got to lift up that panel there and okay so you lift up here put it in here like that push it in it snaps into place so it's in there and then you close it. But now when you're ready to take it out like this, you push this lever down and then pull it straight out. That's how that works. Okay, so it does come with this charger right here. Look how beefy that thing is. It's a big charger. And then you put the battery in on that side right there. It just snaps in. I've seen a lot of these battery powered tools are that way like that where you just kind of slide them in to charge them. And then you charge it up. Okay, so my son just figured out how you raise and lower the deck. Go ahead and show him. Right here on this little handle. Just like that, and that's how you raise and lower the blade on here. Just like that. So it come originally on one. We'll probably put it over on three with the mow hour lawn. I recently talked to a professional um, fertilizer guy that does landscaping and he recommended that you cut your grass at three inches. Three to three and a half is what he said. Okay, now that we have it all assembled, we'll give you guys a really good detailed look at it. Throw in a little instrumental music with it. Cut yourself. Okay. Having this new lawnmower, it's like having a new car. You're almost afraid to put that very first scratch on it. I bet you anything, he puts the first scratch on it. Okay, moment of truth. Now we're going to. Uh, put the key in it and see how it starts see how loud it is and fire it up okay so here is the key that they give you the key comes right in here they put an arrow on there so it knows which way snaps right in place there there's a button right here i guess this is the start button and then this is the kind of the igniter so if you push down this thing right now it will not fire up push down on this button then you pull the handle and then it starts. All 
right, so it's pretty quiet for a battery powered mower, much quieter than a gasoline uh, powered mower. So yeah, and hopefully the 60 volts will work. Push that in. One thing that we did have to adjust was the handles. They were kind of high like this. Cole needed it a little bit lower so that way he could handle it. And they have three different settings on how you can adjust the handles. Right here are the three different settings. You pull out like that. Well, you pull out like, like that. And then you can adjust them to high, medium, or low. We're going with the middle tier for now. Okay, so this ignites the blades here. This lever here ignites a self-propelled. Even when I don't hit the button and the key's in it, check this out. It automatically turns on the self-propelled. So self-propelled, this ignites the blades. This right here runs the speed on it to see how fast you can go. Boy, that's pretty easy to move. I mean, it don't take much. Like I can do it with one finger. So low, high. All right, so we'll touch grass for the very first time. Oh, there we go. Okay, and as always with most products that I uh, review, I'm gonna have a link down in the description below where you can buy this awesome mower here. Okay, what's that Bible scripture? Train up a child in the way that he should mow. Right here, train him up. 